Surely the isles wait for me and the ships of Tarshish first to bring your sons from far. Their silver and their gold with them unto the name of Yah, thy Elohim, and to the Kodesh one of Israel, because he have esteemed thee, right? So the isles are waiting to bring the sons and daughters from far, right? Let's look at the biblical text. That's Isaiah 69. Let's look at the next verse. So in 60 and 9, it says, Surely the isles wait for me and the ships of Tarshish first to bring thy sons from far, their silver, their gold with them unto the name of Yah, thy Elohim, and to the Kodesh one of Israel, because he have esteemed thee. Verse 10, And the sons of the strangers... Right, shall build up thy walls. These strangers are the people that are embracing the covenant. Because when you when you actually really look at see what's going on in the world, right? The people who are telling the world that, oh, those are the real Israelite people, you know, those so called Negroes, they're the actual Israelites. These are the people that are embracing the covenant. They're called the sons of the strangers, right? So he said, the sons of the strangers shall build up thy walls and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath, I smote thee, but in my favor, have I had mercy on thee. Therefore, he says, thy gates shall be open continually and they shall not be shut day nor night that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, right? That their kingdom kings may be that their kings may be brought, right? And then he says, for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee, who, who are they going to serve? The Israelites, right? The sons and daughters are going to bring, the, the kings are going to bring, right? Are going to bring these Israelites back and they're going to, bring the forces or the wealth, the riches of the Gentiles, right? If you look this up in the Strong's Numbers, what does it say? They shall bring the forces, the force, the strength, the army, wealth, virtue, valor, strength. So they're going to bring everything that they built. They're going to bring the forces of the Gentiles, of the nations, all the other nations, and their kings may be brought and that their kings may be brought, okay? So, what does the Most High say? He's going to make them a kingdom of priests, right? That's in Revelation. I don't have time to go there, but let's see. So, he says, for the nation that, and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yes, those nations shall be utterly wasted, right? Now, so that's what is happening here. The Most High used the same method to to take Israel out, he's going to use the same method to bring Israel back into the land of nativity. Now, I want to add one more verse in there that we're going to get back to the video. Okay, this is Numbers 24 and 23 and 24, okay? And the reason is wise. And he took up this parable and said, Alas, who shall live when Yah does this? Right? 24. And the ships shall come from the coast of Chittim, now, some say Chittim is Rome. Some say Chittim is Spain, okay? Spanish, Spain, we know Israelites, the so-called Negroes came into captivity on Spanish ships, right? And one of the ships was called uh, the Luburg, Lubuck, a.k.a. the good ship Jesus, right? All right. They shall come from the coast of Chittim and shall flick Asher, right? That's a Assyrian and Eber. So we read in that book that, the, the Assyrians, right? The Israelites came from Assyria, right? So we see Assyria and Eber. And what did the book say they went? They went into Africa, right? So the coast, the ships shall come from the coast of Shittim or Chittim and shall afflict Asher, right? Just so you see it. Asher. A, since a second son of Shem, also his descendants in the country occupied by them. That is Assyria, right? See that? So Asher, right? And Eber, 
right? So Eber is also descendants of Shem and all of the children of Ab Abraham are Eberites, right? And some of the Eberites are not from Abraham, but they are Eberites. They're Shemites, I should say, okay? Shall flick Eber and he also shall perish forever, right? So that is what happens. So you have what the author of the book told us, right? He says, many of the Jews are scattered over this region. Some natives boasting themselves of Abraham's seed. Now here's the part I just, I just mentioned. Others are Asian strangers who fled there after the des desolation of Jerusalem by Vespasian from Judea. Wasted and depopulated by Romans, Persians, Sarsians, and Christians, right? Okay. So we see that they boast of Abraham's seed and they inhabited and fled on both sides of the river Nigger. Or some say Niger, but it's actually Nigger. Okay. Now let's go back into the video. And so the people who are living in Israel now are fake Jews who have, ba they're basically imposters. Okay. Now look at the, they, the verse there. So it says it, you can't, you can't argue that verse is in the book. Ba they're basically imposters. I know that works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them would say they are Jews and are not, but are of the synagogue of Satan. Right? So we didn't write that. And you can go to Revelation 3 and 9, which says the same thing. But let's continue. They stole our identity. And the reason they know that we are the true Jews is because of the curses. Okay. Now, notice what I have on the screen. You can throw Deuteronomy out the book. Okay. But this Luke 21, 24 stands out because some would say, oh, well, that happened. That was the first captivity when they went into Assyrian and to Babylonian captivity. Okay. What about Luke 21, 24, which says they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive, captive into all nations, right? Led away captive, right? So that's prophecy because you said Deuteronomy 28, they wasn't sold. They offered himself and no one bought them. Okay. What is that? Yahshua, the Messiah wasn't making up his own doctrine. Right? So when you see that, it says they, they would be led away captive, right? Into all nations. Now let's beat the horse. Let's beat the horse into the ground. Okay. It says they shall fall by the edge of the sword, right? And shall be led away captive. This phrase is shall be led away captive, right? Is 163. It says to make a captive, right? Uh, Akamalatos. It says a derivative of the saying, a prisoner of war, a captive, right? So we know that the so-called Negroes were taken as slaves. They were historically wise. The people in Africa will tell you because every African is not the same. They're different tribes. So you have Hamites in Africa and you had Shemites that were in Africa, which we read in the book. We just showed you the book, right? So the Israelites, the so-called Negroes was taken into captivity, right? As captives, as slaves, they were captured, prisoners of war captured and brought into the new world as slaves, just like the prophecy said, just like the Messiah said in Luke 21 and 24. And then he goes on to say that Jerusalem will be trotted down of the Gentiles. And what did it say about the Gentiles? 
the Gentiles were going to bring the forces of their forces to these Israelites who were scattered, who would be coming back to Israel on ships. Right? So the cruise liner is going to make some money during that time, bringing the Israelites back from the four corners, right? 